Hey everybody, Richard here, and welcome to the Nerd Life. Um, so today, what I have for you guys is a Kits, Bits, and Swag review. That's right. We're going to review some Kitty Bitty Swagginess. Burr, burr, burr. I'm going to pull it out of this box over here. Um, uh, so we all know I am working on my Lost Legion, and I'm just kind of making it up as I go along. Uh, well, there is this company out there called Toughest Girls of the Galaxy. Well, that's not the name of the company. The company is Raging Heroes. But they make these figures called Toughest Girls of the Galaxy, and I've been eyeballing this one for the longest time. And, uh, I happened to cross it on eBay, and it was a pretty much, I think it were, normally it's like a $18 figure or something like that. I think somebody saw it for 10 or 15 I can't remember. No free shipping, so I snatched it up. Um, but I really really like this figure uh well here's a picture here's the front of the package oh, 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 glare glare there it is that is what's the name of this one tanya tanker tank specialist now um any of y'all familiar world war ii um all those cool posters and stuff like that and um rosie the riveter so this is essentially a rosie the riveter figure i like it so she's got that cool little bionic arm. So what I thought I would do with this one, let me slide it back here, is uh, turn her into a tech marine sort of thing for my army. And I know people are like, ah, oh, she's a girl. Girls can girls can work on cars. My wife, she hates it if I try to change a tire. Not because I don't know how, but because she likes doing it herself. Uh, well, let's go table down and check this out. We'll just got to get a good look at it real quick. All right, so here we are at table down. We have our lovely Rosie the Riveter package. I already opened it up, pulled her out. It's a blister pack. Comes with a base, a slot base, which I don't like slot bases anyway. And then two cards. Ha! Huh. I don't know what the difference is. It's... They just probably accidentally packaged it. But anyway, on one side here, you see her here. And on the back, you have an alternate version of her, which is which she has a shotgun, it looks like. You almost pass it as maybe like a multi-melter. I don't know. Um, it also had blister pack or bubble wrap inside the package. Keep it from flopping around. And it was in a Ziploc baggie. Pulled her out already. And here she is. So this is what she looks like. Pause. There we go. I had to turn that light on so you can see a little better. So here we have her. Oh, there's her behind. <laughs> so nice resin model. The resin looks really nice. A lot of flashing to clean off there. I'm not gonna do it right now, but I just wanted to kind of show you. Maybe we've got some under her chin to clean off. But yeah, that's a cool Rosie River Rosie the Riveter pose. Um showing off her bicep, pulling back her arm. But what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to rig up some, uh, what are they, mechandrites? Is that what they're called? The little tentacle arms for the mechanicum. Find some bits for sale for that. I'm not going to use this, the rocket launcher. I'm going to use the shotgun thing. Have that draped over her. Maybe, you know, we'll, we'll see once I get down to it. I might not use either one of them. Um, but she's just such a cool model. I mean, even just to paint her up in general is going to be really fun. I'm debating on whether or not she should have the red skin, like my uh, Marines, because I don't think she would be necessarily a, um, like, clone project, you know, like all the other Marines are, they're, they're from the seed of the Primark. I don't think she'd be that, I think she'd just be an actual person from the planet, maybe, who grew up around it and just trained and is like a soldier. And may bond it genetically upgraded a little bit or something. I don't know. But that's still something I'm figuring out, debating. But I really do want to use her for my uh, tech marine. I just think it's going to be loads of fun. So, so yeah, I pretty much, uh, I've been, I've seen these before. They have a whole series of stuff. Toughest Girls in the Bal Galaxy. They have the Jailbirds. Uh, one set was a really cool set I saw a long time ago. Um... What is it called? It's, a, it's from the Jailbirds stuff. It was basically little kids. 
So you have like a little kid sniper. I think it even comes with a little pig or something like that. With a, it's just a bunch of really cool looking little figures. They're well sculpted, you know. So first time, like I said, I've had one in hand, and like I said, I really like the way it's sculpted. A lot of flashing, a lot of mold lines and stuff to clean off, but overall, a really good piece of resin. You know, I'm sure if I tried hard enough, I could break it. But why would I want to do that? That's just silliness. So yeah. I recommend these guys. Go check them out. They're a good third-party uh, company. I know, I believe, um, we'll give you a shout-out right now. Uh, Dark Artisan. I know, I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, he has one of these figures, or two of them, um, that he uses for his Dark Eldar. Um, it's actually the Dark Artisans. Um, you might want to go check him out just because he's awesome. Harry's a rad dude. Uh, but also because you can see more of these. Anyway, guys, that's it for the video. Kind of a quick one today. I just want to get out there. I'm trying to work my way back into this. Um, i got several more videos that I'm going to make today. Uh, and hopefully I'll be back on track next week, guys. I love you all. I thank you so much for joining me, my friends. Keep rocking that nerd life.